Hi, I'm Doug with RETN. In this video, we'll explore ways to get great audio using external microphones like these. First, we'll review the different types of microphones, and then we'll do a sound check of some of our favorites. So to get started, let's look at some of the most popular microphones and the pros and cons of using each. First, there's the onboard microphone. It's easy to use, but as you'll see, the audio quality goes down the further away you are from your subject. And that's a big problem, especially if you want to vary the framing during your video. So each time you move the device, the sound quality will change. And that's why we recommend using external microphones. They give you greater control, and the sound quality is usually much better. A handheld microphone is probably the most versatile. You can hold it close to your mouth for the best sound quality, and you can use it with a floor stand or a boom pole when you don't want it in the frame. Some options come with a cable for easy connection. Now you can change your framing and the sound quality will remain the same. If you can afford only one microphone, we recommend the iRig HD microphone. Its variable volume control and LED indicator helps you avoid audio that's too weak or distorted, and it sounds terrific. Shotgun microphones are perfect for video on the go. They easily attach to your device and work well for person on the street interviews. Some models come with a conveniently attached but very short cable. You simply plug it into the headphone jack, but other models use professional XLR cables. They connect using an adapter like this one. You'll notice it has a volume control with an LED indicator too. And since XLR cables come in a variety of lengths, you can use a boom pull for professional results. Plus, you can use the same cables and adapters that you use for other high-end microphones, like the one I'm using right now. So that brings us to lavalier or lapel microphones. These mics are ideal for interviews. Lapel mics are designed to minimize room noise, and because it's located next to your chest, a lapel mic usually delivers a richer, fuller sound. There are inexpensive models with short cables that plug directly into your headphone jack. We recommend going with professional quality models that use XLR cables. So let's get started with the sound check. We've chosen a variety of microphones, so you can decide which one is right for you. This is a sound check of the onboard camera microphone about six inches away from the iPad. This is the sound check of the onboard camera microphone on the iPad. Same distance as what we were doing all the other audio tests. This is a sound check for the basic iRig microphone. I have the switch setting on the middle switch and the microphone is about a couple inches away from my mouth. This is a sound check for the basic iRig microphone. I have it on a floor stand about a foot away from my mouth and the switch setting is on the top switch. This is a sound check using the iRig HD microphone. We've got the swivel volume control which allows you to increase or decrease the volume. And this is a sound check of the iRig HD microphone. I've got it on a floor mic stand, it's out of the shot, and this is what the quality of it sounds like. Some of the smaller shotgun microphones actually plug into your headphone jack, but they may require having a special adapter like one of these. This is a sound check of the Pulsen VM180M compact microphone. I've got the settings at the zero decibels and the tele setting on the microphone. And this is a sound check of the Pulsen VM180M using the plus 10 decibel setting as well as the tele setting. And this is a sound check of the Sennel CS88 using the zero decibel gain. And this is a sound check of the Sennel CS88 using the plus 10 decibel gain. And this is a sound check of the Rode VideoMic Pro at the zero decibel. And this is a sound check of the Rode VideoMic Pro at the plus 20 decibel. This sound check features the Rode NTG2 shotgun microphone. It's an XLR microphone and we've got it connected to the iRig Pro, which is then connected to the iPad. This is a sound check of the Rode SmartLav Plus. It's a lapel microphone that plugs into the headphone jack. You can only get about four feet away, that's the length of the cable, but this gives you an idea of the sound quality. This sound check features the Audio-Technica AT803. It's the lapel microphone that we've been using in this video. It's an XLR mic that connects to the iRig Pro. There you have it. I hope this sound check was helpful, but of course there are always new makes and models being developed. For now, we recommend the iRig HD if you can afford only one microphone. We also recommend the iRig Pro combined with the Audio-Technica lapel microphone that we've used today. 
And if you need a shotgun microphone, we recommend the Rode NTG2. Or if you prefer a compact shotgun microphone, for about $200 you can get the Rode VideoMic Pro. We think it has the best quality audio of all the compacts. Alternatively, for around $100 you can get the Sonal CS88, which also has pretty good audio. And until next time, thanks for watching. Thank you.